I want, as I speak, my family to come. Please be fast. And so my father came to visit me, and my father is around. I also want him to be walked here. And he was coming home from Nairobi. The route we have come through from Dika Greens as we were coming home, he was driving my mother. Just before the, we go to the big market, Kangare, they had an accident. It was a head-on collision. We lost our mother, and my father stayed in hospital in ICU for three months. And so we stayed without burying my mother for three months. But God is faithful that my father is walking today. He's healthy. He's talking. And my entire family, we are so grateful. Reke Yaronga Mehautu. And so I'm born in a family of nine. We have our firstborn sister, Modoni, who is here. Our second born, Eta Gokemani, who is a pastor in the Baptist Church. We have our third born, Gure, Arorurogo Kuadoine. Oh, yo, yo. Mutiki, okay. Pass, pass, pass. Quickly. It's our third born. Then we have our fourth born, Yeshua, Peter. And they all have families. By the way, Akuna Mutusingo Apa. Then we have fifth born, Kamau. We have our sixth born, who is Grace, who is not here. And then we have our seventh born, uh, Jogona Naitwa Motek. We have our eighth born, who is Kero. He's also around, Akobadoku, around. And I am the last born, you at Favely, Sabina Wajiroashe. So that's our family. And so for the last six years, we have been doing something to assist the community. And why I am so, so grateful to you, Your Excellency. I know I have invited many people, but you have also invited many people on my behalf. This is a great honor to my family. Because we said, what can we do to remember our mother? Who brought us in this Catholic church? She's Susan Wairi Mochege, the late. It has been six years. And as today, my family, early in the morning, they read a read on her. Um, yeah, it is difficult. And as the last born, I requested my family whether we can be able to do something to thank God. I have many things to thank God about. First and foremost, Your Excellency, that those years our father has recovered. So we chose a project which we are going to do for the members of parliament. My apologies, you're not able. Once we finish, you can go up. You'll see the project you want to start. A moat purpose hall. These girls, and you can see this place can get cold. They normally eat from outside. Their kitchen is made of mabati. So they normally carry their plates in class. You will see here. And then they run out. They go and serve the food through those plastic things. Alafu wanakula, they wash their plates, then they run back to class. So today, my humble request, let us give back the dignity of these girls. Your Excellency, you have already been told when I was in the center, this bus is already in the center. This bus is already in the center. This bus is already in the center. But but I would plead with you that we give generously towards that Mot Papa's Hall so that within the next six months they can have a decent kitchen that is fully equipped, a dining room that they can be able to sit, and a Mot Papa's Hall that they can also be able to sit for CA, CU, and also they can be able to compete with the other schools. I was here another day and 